Tens of thousands of people have taken part in Melbourne's Pride March today. And on its 20th anniversary, the Premier Daniel Andrews became the first Victorian Premier to join in. He used the day to reiterate his election promise to remove bigotry from the statute books, but hasn't put a time frame on it. Grey skies above, but St Kilda was awash with colour and right up front was the Premier. It's a huge deal for him coming today and we're so thrilled to have him here. Didn't vote for him, but I think it's wonderful that he's here. I think it's a wonderful photo opportunity. The Premier has reiterated his plans to end laws that discriminate on the basis of sexual orientation, including adoption laws. And I hope that every single member of the Victorian Parliament recognises that we're in 2015, uh, not 1815, and votes with the government to deliver that adoption equality. Also on the agenda is removing blanket exemptions under the Equal Opportunity Act. We're all looking for a little bit more equality, aren't we? That's all we want. With the politicians out of the way, it was time for others to shine. Some travelled in style, others chose less salubrious transport, but there was plenty of slap and tickle along the way. Joining the boys in blue and other emergency services for the first time were members of the CFA. First time and many more to come. Everyone being critiqued from the sidelines by the fashion police. We have been encouraged to dress in colour, but I'm actually seeing a lot of people who haven't. So at the other end, I'm going to be a bit of a bitch about it. These costumes might just pass the test. Sarah Farnsworth, ABC News, Melbourne.